Hello, everyone. Welcome to the podcast series for National Inclusion Week 2020. This year's theme is Each One, Reach One, which is about bringing people and organisations together to connect and inspire each other to make inclusion an everyday reality. Joining me today is Lisa McAteer from Balfour Beatty Rail. Lisa, could you just introduce yourself and your role in Balfour Beatty? Yeah, of course. Hi, everyone. I'm Lisa McAteer. I'm currently working on the CVL project, part of Cardiff Metro in Wales. As a risk manager, I'm also the community diversity and inclusion lead there. As well as that, I am co-chair of the Ability Affinity Network, Balfour Beatty. Great, thank you. As we enter National Inclusion Week, are you willing to offer any insight into your experiences around inclusion in our industry, either personally or as a member of your affinity network? Yeah, sure. So I've been at Balfour BT for over two years now, and during that time, I've seen a real increase in appetite to, to talk about inclusion and diversity. And there are so many initiatives that are now taken off across Balfour BT, things like reverse mentoring, um, a programme of ambassadors, so many great training events that have taken place. Inclusion and diversity is on the agenda at meetings at all levels across Balfour BT, so that's really encouraging to see. I guess from a, a personal experience, having a disability myself and coming into this industry, I didn't really feel particularly comfortable initially, I think, to share that, just because I didn't really know what the culture was like, how that would be received. But Quite quickly, I think, I became comfortable in my environment, understood that people were very supportive and did share my um, disability with my line manager. And actually, that experience was a very, very positive one for me. I got all the support and encouragement that I could possibly have wished for. And actually, I was encouraged to share my story more widely, I mean, right across Balfour BT. And you can, you can see some podcasts and videos out there of me sharing my story. And I've done that in several sort of uh, meetings that I've been to and been asked to attend different events and share my story, it's really to help encourage other people to share their stories so that we can properly understand support needs that people have and so that they can feel comfortable to be their authentic selves. And, and give their best at work, you know, once we're comfortable and we can be who we are, then that's when we really give our best, I think. Amazing. Thanks for sharing. Um, what are some of the best practices you've seen or experienced with inclusion at Balfour BT? And what do you think might be improved? OK, so I think we are talking a lot about inclusion and diversity. We have arranged and attended lots of really interesting events and training, which I think is key, really, because number one for me is we need to educate people and we need people to feel comfortable uh, to talk about things that they might not have felt comfortable about before. We need to allow people to be maybe a bit clumsy about talking about different things. I mean, particularly lately, we've seen a lot of um, conversations about race taking place and people starting to feel a bit more comfortable about that. I think disability is still maybe something that people aren't so sure about. Maybe there's a bit of hesitation in not being sure about what people can and can't say, whether they're going to offend or not, whether they're using the right language. The same sort of thing we see in other groups. But I think maybe disability is just a bit behind the curve still. What I'd like to see is a lot more talk around disability, a lot more understanding. I think like everything else, to do that, we just need to start the conversation in a safe space where people can feel comfortable to maybe say the wrong thing, if you like, you know, so that we can educate and enable people to feel much more comfortable to start those conversations and to really understand what that means. Because there's such a wide range of disabilities, you know, at the Ability Affinity Network, a group of people who have such a range of disabilities from dyslexia and dyspraxia, mental health issues, physical disabilities, hidden disabilities neurodiversity I mean it's just it, the list goes on and on really and nobody it, pretending to be an expert in any one of these but just understanding from a personal perspective what it's like to live with that disability and then what we can do to support it becomes much less scary for the person who has that condition and also for uh, line managers and for the organization as a whole to understand that it really sometimes just takes a real small adjustment to make a huge difference Great, that's really, really good. Um, thank you. Very welcome. It's lovely to talk to you, Jarvis.